My name is Josh Garretts. I'm from Madison, Wisconsin, and I'm a current student at the University of Wisconsin-Madison studying nursing and information science. Um, I was diagnosed just two days after my birth with hypoplastic left heart syndrome, and HLHS is when the left side of your heart doesn't do any of the work and isn't fully formed, meaning that the right side of your heart is doing all the work um, for you to keep you working normally or as normal as you possibly can be. Um, and I had my first three surgeries at six days old. I had a rough uh, recovery road and remained in the hospital for more than seven weeks during all those surgeries and had to get a G-tube then placed for feeding um, due to how I would um, have trouble swallowing and would be spitting up my food because of that. Um, and once I was discharged from the Milwaukee hospital, I needed constant oxygen and several kinds of therapies, including physical, um, occupational, and speech therapy throughout the childhood. Um, and because of my speech therapy, I, I had a problem that almost left me um, permanently uh, unable to talk, but luckily that was able to be fixed as well through the surgery and uh, speech therapy as well. Um, besides the surgeries, I had so much more was needed, uh, and I had a valve uh, repair surgery just before I started kindergarten. I entered the school and continued with physical and occupational therapy through the school district that I was in, and I was lucky, lucky enough to participate in sports, including flag football, soccer, basketball, t-ball, uh, and baseball uh, while I was growing up, and was but it was tough because I didn't have the endurance of a normal kid at my age, so I was constantly out of breath or having to take breaks for water or just resting to make sure I, I could try to keep up with others at my age. Um, and then over the years, though, my heart was monitored regularly by the cardiologist at the AmFam Children's Hospital here in Wisconsin. I also had specialists monitoring my liver growth. But for me, uh, at least as a kid, my life seemed normal myself, besides knowing I, I had hypoplastic left heart syndrome. Um, so I, I kind of just, as a kid, obviously, I was just trying to live like everyone else around me my age, being as normal as I could growing up, doing the sports I was doing and trying to just enjoy my childhood. Um, but once I got into high school, the doctors felt that my liver was growing rapidly and uh, was affecting my heart in a negative way and that a transplant would be in my near future. Um, and because of that, before my sophomore year of high school, I was placed on the transplant list. Um, and when I was uh, 14, I received that call um, during school in a bef um during school that I had to go. And obviously during that call, I wasn't even sure what it was for. As I walked down to the office and I saw my mom came to pick me up. Um, and then I was told in the car that uh, the Milwaukee Children's Hospital had a heart for me and we had to go right then. So we ran home, uh, packed as many clothes as I could get in the bay quickly and headed off to Milwaukee. Um, and during that time, I was already under waiting, but they weren't uh, sure if they were going to give the heart because sometimes it's a it's a false call that they're not always sure. But then later on, it, it was a go. I received it. I the transplant. I was out for about three ish days, woke up in the hospital, uh, was in the hospital for only 12 days, got out around Halloween, able to go home, spent uh, three three months at home. So I missed I, I missed those three months of school uh, and was being sent homework by teachers just to keep up with my peers. And because of that um, and my hard work, I was able to graduate in 2020 uh, COVID year with my with my friends and after that, I headed to Madison Area Technical College, where um, I worked 
um, studying under during COVID. So most of that was online for about the first year and was slowly able to come back to class and finish up the rest of my credits uh, in the fall of 2023, where I graduated with my associate's degree in math, science, and technology. And I started uh, this past spring at UW-Madison, where I'm studying nursing and information science. Um, this will be my upcoming second semester at UW um, and am expecting to graduate next fall, where I hope to become a nurse and maybe get my uh, doctors in nursing to become a nurse practitioner um, and work in cardiology, which is something I've, I've always wanted to do because of my experience and how I've loved helping others around me out. And I think that I'd be a great way to connect to others that have grown up with the, with the same things I have and be able to relate to them and know and understand what they're going through is what I, I've gone through as well. Um, and I think having that connection is a is a great experience. And then I, I'll be able to show that through nursing school and, and my career. So I'm excited um, to do that. I'm excited to join this um, as an ambassador uh, because I, I participate. I first heard about it, of course, at the transplant games at Salt Lake City, Utah, where I competed, competed in um, tennis, biking, and I also did pickleball, which I enjoyed and uh, was lucky enough to receive a few medals in those sports that I did um, and think that I, I would like to go back and do that as well. But um, I'm excited to be an ambassador here um, and show my story and speak about it with others um, and also hopefully meet others, too, that have had the same experiences as me.